everybody, how are we doing today? I am doing pretty good. I'm doing okay. Um, I hope everyone has had a really good week. Um, I am sorry I have not posted anything at all this week. I have been sick. Um, I'm just haven't been feeling well much at all this week after I posted my um, shopping uh, um, shopping haul video. Um, I started to not feel well a day or so after that. So, um, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better today. Uh, I thought I was feeling a lot better this morning, but I started to feel really sick again. So I was able to make a quick dinner for tonight. Um, I had made some fried rice and tempura chicken or tempura shrimp. Um, it was the shrimp was pre-made so that helped me a ton so i was able to get dinner done and um yeah just you know finish that um i do have a video i will be recording this weekend and it's going to be posted this week i am our next week sorry i am going to i have um a few valentine's day orders that i have to get done by wednesday so um i will be filming that too next week um but other than that um i am gonna probably take it really easy this weekend i've been pretty much just um in bed a lot um trying to get my energy back up and just so i can get back up and running because i just feel terrible and i don't like feeling that way so um yeah, so you are going to see right now I made um, fried shrimp, fried rice and tempura shrimp. That is what we had for dinner. And um, I hope everybody has a really good weekend. And uh, stay safe out there and don't work too hard. I will see you guys soon. Bye. Okay, you guys, let's go ahead and get dinner started. Right here I have about 20 pieces of tempura shrimp on my cookie sheet. With, a, with parchment paper, I'm gonna put it in the oven for about 20 minutes at 400 degrees. And you want to take them out when they're nice and crispy and hot. So right here, I also have a um, preheated pan and I added some olive oil in it. You wanna make sure your pan is hot. And I am gonna go ahead and add about a half a cup of chopped onions and then about a cup of diced carrots. You can add any kind of vegetable that you like into your stir fry. I mean, sky's the limit, it's optional. This is what I had in my fridge right now, so this is what I'm gonna be using. I do also normally put peas in my stir fry, but um, I didn't have any. I usually keep a bag in the freezer, but I just did not have any today. So I, I do like to put broccoli in my stir fry too, so that was something that I knew I had in the fridge. So I went ahead and added the carrots and the onion together and you're going to go ahead and let that um, let that saute for about four minutes so you can um, get them nice and tender. You don't not you don't want your carrots mushy or you know anything like that because you want to bite to your food. So right there I put a pinch of salt and about a half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper and I'm also adding about a tablespoon of garlic. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix that all together. Do not add your garlic when you add your onions because you don't want it to burn because you need your pan to be at a very high temperature because this does cook fast. So make sure you put your garlic in after the four minutes of sauteing carrots and onion. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and add the broccoli in and stir that up really well. Once the broccoli is combined together, um, you're gonna add your egg. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a few minutes. Um, you can also see on the side, I have a pot of rice. I pre-did my rice a little earlier in the day. Um, so right here, I did add about three scrambled eggs and you're gonna go ahead and mix it up really well. And you just want to scramble them just like you would any other scrambled eggs. I mean, at least my scrambled eggs, however I scramble mine. But yeah, you want to go ahead and scramble that up. 
But like I was saying about the rice, you can use rice that you had the day before or you can make it in the morning. It doesn't matter. Any kind of rice works um, as long as it's white rice. I use basmati rice because that's the rice that we like to eat in our home. Um, but like I said before, you can use any kind of rice at all. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish mixing this all together and then I will be adding my rice. I did make about two cups of rice. Um, you can make less than that depending on how many you're feeding. And I did use all my rice. Um, I know my son loves fried rice and my husband does too. So I knew I wasn't going to have any issues with their um, being too much rice left over um, because I knew they were going to eat it. So, And we actually didn't have a whole lot of rice left over, which was great. So um, I know that will get finished up at another time. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and mix this up as good as you want to get all those veggies mixed in with the rice before you add in your soy sauce um, this is just how i do it you can do it any way you like to to make your rice your fried rice but this is how i make it for my family it's super quick it's super easy and it's really really good so i added about one fourth cup of low sodium um, soy sauce um, you can add any kind of soy sauce you like. Just remember that soy sauce has a high salt content. So be, um, be cautious of how much soy sauce you add. I added a fourth and I did not have to add any more salt or anything like that to my stir fry. It came out perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this up really, really well. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's done. And there it is. That's what it looks like when it's finished. I like for my rice to get a little crispy, um, a little brown, and it just tastes really, really good. I absolutely love it. It it just, it came out perfect. So that's how I make my rice. This rice all together took about, I don't know, 10 minutes to make, and it was good. And there is my dinner.